let's start with another main module which is how to respond to the written work how to give feedback this is an introductory module where i will set the tone for the test of the module uh, how to give feedback which is encouraging motivating and which focuses on not only the content but also the form i mean the grammar and the ideas so let's discuss uh, what is feedback and what's its significance Feed feedback actually is teacher's response is actually driven by the goals of the course so and it should be driven by the overall theory being employed whether you see writing from academic literacy point of view or communities of practice point of view socio cultural point of view or behaviorist point of view so as language teachers we need to take what is good in these formal theories and leave which is not workable for our own particular socio political or cultural context so assessment focus should be on shouldn't shouldn't be on the product rather it should be on the process like i by process i mean the drafting the writing itself planning revising editing self editing so it should be i mean focused on the processes involved in writing so there could be a range of goals of feedback for example sometimes we give feedback to justify the grade sometimes we give feedback to motivate the students sometimes we give feedback to uh, help students see the strengths and weaknesses of their work but we as language teachers shouldn't make the students see feedback feedback on their own shortcomings rather on their writing so assessment can or may vary from context to context from course to course from discipline to discipline and there are two forms of assessment summative which is actually the grade itself and formative which actually gives constructive comments on the on different on different parts of the writing and then how to improve them so overall feedback should be motivating by motivation i mean it should inculcate feelings of love for writing and it should aim to give students a sense of publication that what they are producing is for with a value with a worth and what they are writing is worthwhile so actually feedback should be focused on improving the quality and help generate some strategies which gives students control of their own writing and there can be a uh, process peer feedback conferencing checklist self assessment we will discuss one by one these elements of feedback i mean to say how process feedback is given how peer feedback is actually employed in the classroom how we can bring in the concept of conferencing and how we can give assessment scale or checklist for self assessment so feedback has uh uh two roles to play like summative and formative and it has another role which is diagnostic one which uh offer analysis of poor parts and focus on strengths and measure the overall proficiency and development of students